Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. So excited to be here with Larry, DUI guy himself. Oh my gosh. Uh, so happy to have you. How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. We've been talking. Uh, Larry gave us some insight. If you want to watch the full show, you can go become a member, go catch our replays. Uh, better yet, go to our Patreon. It's the best way to game the system. So that way they don't take 33%. They take five. It's much better. Uh, but we got some stuff to talk about, and I wanted to make this main topic be a little bit more digestible. And in fact, I'm going to plug our guest right out the gate because he kind of already did this. So I'm stealing his idea. So credit where it's due. But if you want another good take with clips, go on over to DUI Guy Plus. Watch his uh, too long, didn't uh, TLDR version of the case. Uh, but for those of you sort of still trying to figure things out, I thought it'd be good to give you a rundown as we potentially follow what's going on. So, Larry, kudos to you again. As we talked about this, just a quick recap of some of the stuff we did. This really sort of took off because you heard about this from a U this was a popular YouTube, guys. If you guys, we didn't really say this yet. This guy breaks open storage lockers. It's sort of really fun content. Him and his wife, they go around uh, and, and open lockers. And become very successful. Kudos to them. Almost 700,000 subscribers and been doing well. Their videos do well. They buy lockers and they bought and they ended up buying land where this fan was. Uh, and that's where this case is going to progress. And we're going to talk more about it. Um, but these guys got into a place where they the judge in his, the county as this case was going not only said that they couldn't talk about it but on YouTube or anywhere, but that any of us couldn't talk about it. And if any of us talked about it, we would be breaking the law. And that's where things started taking a turn online. People started noticing. But for Larry, just to recap a bit for people just tuning in, it was this text message and some others that really set the tone. As you started sort of doing this and doing the updates and trying to help what the hails and get the word out, you thought you'd be done and out. But then as you reported on it, the thing grew and then you got threatened, right? And that's where the hashtag yes. and everything came in. But this was a text message. You came, uh, they started reporting you to the bar and the term buckle up became this sort of threat to you that you better stop or else. Uh, but the opposite yes. happened, didn't it? Oh, absolutely. When you threaten a lawyer with a bar complaint, we're only going to come at you harder unless the bar complaint is merited, in which case it was not. So this guy, and you, so you were talking about this, but you, do you know who actually was sent and the voicemails were coming from? You were able to confirm that? Not yet. We have some theories, we have some speculations, but we don't have confirmation yet. And I mean, we have his okay. voice. This is one of the guys. So who, she is. Tell me I'll help you. Hi, I'm watching Larry on YouTube right now, and I know his uh, buddy Jeremy Hells loves people to phone flood. So is that what Larry also? Is that how he thinks our justice system works? Should we just phone flood the courts until they can't do business anymore? Is that his legal strategy? I'm just, I'm asking for a friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm not certain about that. Um, are you calling on behalf of someone who's needing legal assistance? No, I'm going to be filing a bar complaint against Larry. I'm telling him to buckle up. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So the only one abusing the system here and the hotline seems to be him, no? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like yep. he... That slate didn't even know what he was talking about, and this guy's now taking up the system of people who need help, uh, and just to try to make a threat. Uh, so, all right, so th th this is why it's all serious because it affects all of us. Uh, Tug was talking about it, Megan, a lot of people online, and a lot of the uh, law tube, and uh, people are starting to pick up on this. And when I saw that threat, Larry, I got to be honest, that's when I reached out. I was like, "What do you need?" <laughs> I was like, "Let's let's I, I I can't I don't like bullies I don't like bullies." And so when I saw someone out there bullying in, in my state. I was like, we got to make this happen. So I want people to know this case a bit. I want them to get it there. So can we? Can you help us do this sort of recap of things? Hold on, where's your? I want to. I want to. I'm going to play some of this just in the background as you're talking. But just to summarize again, sort of as you did, this case started because, correct me if I'm wrong, because I got it from your recap and some others. What the hell's was was basically buying land where some storage lockers and things were, and then a fan in this small county of Otter Creek. And then a fan ended up sort of getting a place across the street and then pleaded to what the hell's knowing that what the hell's had some revenue. We have no money. Help us, help us, help us. Uh, and right. then what the hell's, I, I guess, gave them some iPads or something to just try to be nice. Leap but as pads. You eloquently I've been said, corrected like a hundred times over. They're called leap pads. And I think they're for children because they gave oh, okay. two leap, leap pads. pads. Yeah, I know what you're the, talking about. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, for kids. Okay. Like, so, but yeah. devices or gave the kids something. Um, and they gave a mouse a cookie, which you don't do because then exactly. obviously they want the glass of milk and then that's what happened. So they did a good deed. No good deed goes unpunished with fans. It's a lesson we all learn as creators. Trust me, I've been there too. You got to be careful. Upcoming creators don't, don't do it. Uh, so they did this and then the, the, the woman, her name is Lynette, right? Lynette. 
Yes. So what? So what was? So Lynette then? How did Lynette first strike against uh, the Hales? They had like a barbecue where they did it for fans in December of 2022 after they moved there, and she they obviously disclosed their address because it was probably done like in their backyard or whatever. And so Lynette found this dump basically because it's not a, it's not it's it's like a metal shed and they have an RV camper. That's all they have on this land. It's a shed and an RV camper. And this is now a tortoise sanctuary, apparently. And they have a four-year-old daughter with a uh, with a uh, that they're claiming is disabled, and she's not disabled; she just has a disease. Uh, they adopted her, and uh, they live on this property now. And they harass, like you said, uh, they continually harass the Haleses. Give us money, give us money, give us money. You are philanthropists; you give money to people. Why not us? Give it to us. And so that became a problem and they refused until, like you said, you, they gave the mouse a cookie and now they're like, we got a cookie. Now give us the whole loaf of bread. Give us the whole tray of cookies. We want more. And that has spiraled out of control to the point where in May of 2023, the Haleses filed for a um, cease and desist. It, was, it started out very simple. Cease and desist. Please stop harassing us. Please leave us alone. Now that led to even more fireworks to the point where she, Lynette, uh, has put up signs, very, very heinous signs, accusing Jeremy of essaying their four-year-old daughter. And she, it was these handwritten signs, they weren't even printed, handwritten signs, double-sided, put up all over the property. Remember, this is a small town. You put these signs up, everyone is going to be talking within an hour about something like this and you it's defamation of character right she is accusing jeremy of, of committing these heinous acts which he never did and so that escalates he goes uh, jeremy goes up to florida excuse me uh well he first goes to florida i believe he tries to get an injunction or a protective order against lynette they tell him we are not going to do that you need more uh, evidence then he goes up to Ohio because he's also a domiciliary of Ohio. Fancy word for also lives there. And uh, because he's a domiciliary of Ohio, he can also seek a protective order against the person in Ohio. And that will travel with him no matter where he goes. Mm. So even if he goes back to Florida. So the judge in Ohio listens to all the evidence and goes, holy mother of God, this is insanity. Here you go. Here's your protective order. He comes down to Florida and Jeremy and he says, here, judge, I have a, a, an order from uh, from uh, Ohio. Please enforce it. And the judge is like, no, I'm not enforcing it. And Lynette, in the meantime, runs to the courthouse and files a 50 page. Um, it's, it's a bunch of uh, uh, emails from other people, from uh, like excerpts from the video in text, of course, format. And her handwritten stuff saying, Judge, please help, me, please help me, please help me, please help me, please help me. Literally over and over and over again. We went over on my channel. If if you're not subscribed, go subscribe right now, the DUI Guy Plus. Uh, and you'll see that I have a playlist. And now it's like seven or eight videos. By the end of today, there's going to be like 10 videos in there um, of all the, the all the latest, right? Because they had court yesterday and they were supposed to have court tomorrow. We're going to talk about that on my channel later today. But anyway, and so are the Haleses. They're going to make a video on that as well about what happened yesterday. I'm just waiting for them to premiere their video and then I'll do it afterwards because I want to give them credit. It's their life. Um, so uh, in September, on September 7th, 2023, Lynette goes to the courthouse, files this 50-page uh, request for injunction for stalking. Uh, a hearing is scheduled. Don't ask me the date. I don't remember. Uh, then uh, another, it, it gets rescheduled to like a second hearing. And meanwhile, she's pro se representing herself. And then in December. You're, you're lawyering this. I, the, the details are great and they'll get them on yours. But just to try to help get through it. Yes, she please. files this 50 page crazy thing of stalking is really what she tries to accuse him of at that yes. point. After and it's completely does it. full of shit, by the way. I, I read 40 percent, oh, excuse me, 40 pages of the 50. So I'm 80 percent done. I still haven't found a single thing that merits uh, it to be granted, by the way. And if she I was, was a judge, fan, right? She's clearly obsessed with this guy and was just trying to use this guy. We've all stumbled upon these people who just obsess and they got nothing else to do. So she's been doing that. And But she creates this idea to the judge that that Jeremy is a threat to her. Is that is that ultimately what? It's the what? pot calling the kettle black. You know, it's right. like pointing the finger. You are a stalker. Leave me alone. Da, 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 da. When she's the one instigating and he's responding and now she's accusing him. It's. And it's she's very, the one who moved there and got across from it all. Bingo. You got it. 
And so uh, December 4th in December, she files a supplemental, a 338 page supplement to Jesus. her original injunction. And the judge, there's no way he read it all because same day he just grants it. He's probably like, well, it's 300 pages of something. So there's gotta be something here. So he deprives Jeremy of his second amendment right. He says no guns allowed in your household after this. And so Jeremy has not been permitted to possess a firearm since December 4th, 2023. Um, then when Jeremy gets a hold of these tapes, he starts posting these uh, courtroom tapes to YouTube. Now the judge in January takes umbrage with the fact of you should not be posting. I don't want people to know what I'm doing in my courtroom. You are disrupting justice. You are disrupting my administration of justice. And if anybody contacts Lynette because of your YouTube channel, I'm going to hold you personally responsible and I am going to punish you and lock your ass up and fine you. Right, so here, and just so you can see the judge here, let's give a taste, you can watch more in Larry's the video. Supreme Court Administrative Order, SCAO 11-222, and in violation, excuse me, in violation of AOSC 11-22, that was and crazy. You were drinking in both Chief versions of yourself. <laughs> 1.14 version 2. Despite that, he requested and obtained unredacted copies of the 1129 and 126 proceedings. So, so let me just pause. So I, I wish Larry was talking. Uh, but uh, share that because, yeah, he's, he's complaining that he got the public records, right? The public court documents. Yes. Redacted means it's redacted, meaning the rest is public record. He's going through all this public stuff, and then others are reporting on it. And he's punishing Jeremy for this. Is, correct me if I'm wrong. That's what happened. Yep, that's it. You got it. There's, I mean, like that's the gist of it that you guys need to understand, like how scary and weird this is because he's not doing anything illegal. Nope. He's getting the public records, which is why our, our justice system is that way. Everything's public record. You can go attend these hearings. You can get the transcripts. And then they redact things that aren't supposed to be public. But he's doing all this. And the judge is now penalizing him and, 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 and making it even harder on him. And not only him, but well, not us. yet. He's, he's threatened. So he hasn't penalized him. Okay, yet. got it. We're, we can't wait for him to like actually oh do my it. God. <laughs> oh, my God. The day it happens. Oh, my God, man. It's like it's, it's a lawyer's wet dream to be wrongfully put in jail by a judge. Trust me. And it's one of mine, too. It's on my bucket list. It will happen. <laughs> and I can't wait. Wrong. So, he so he's, Wrong these are all, that's a key word. <laughs> that's a correct. That's a good correction for me, though. All threats. He's been threatening and scaring and basically gr gruff. Uh, you can't do this. But he hasn't actually enforced any of it yet. Not yet. Got OK, that's good to know. And so he's doing scare tactics. It's almost like he's the mob and trying to get Jeremy to keep all this quiet and let him get his way. So because yes. I've seen Jeremy has not been quiet. Jeremy has then stepped down and done reports. He's gotten folks like you. How has the judge reacted to that? So, so far, since this story broke out, you know, on my channel on Thursday, so a, a week ago today, then I got the threat on, on uh, Saturday, then I got another threat, a bigger one on Tuesday. All of this ties into yesterday's hearing, which again, I don't want to divulge too much because I know a little bit, I don't know a lot, but the things that I do know, I want to give Jeremy precedence over. So I don't yep. want to reveal Understood. the confidences, right? By so the way, the go follow Jeremy over at What the Hales. There's his channel as well. But yeah, continue. So, but uh, ha have they reacted to you? Oh, we lost his his cams coming back. Uh, there he is. Have they? Do we have they reacted? Has the judge reacted yet? To I mean, he has reacted to Jeremy's own YouTube videos on the hearings, but has he all reacted say, yet to your all coverage? All I will say is what I know is that the lawyers came in, and I'm not joking because uh, I, I can actually show you. Um, the lawyers were driving to the courthouse and somebody sent me this as a joke. Um, I don't know if you can see this. What the fuck is that? A it's toothbrush? a toothbrush. Yeah. Why? It's a toothbrush. You, so in case they get arrested, uh, they <laughs> have their toothbrush with them, right? Oh my God. It's Jeez. hilarious. It's hilarious. And I'm like, I don't know if it's real or not, but it's it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Because that's that's what you do when you think you're going to go to jail, right? Bring your own toothbrush with you. So they, they allegedly brought their toothbrushes to court with them, the lawyers, just to make sure that if they do get arrested for whatever reason. But the judge, as I understand it, um, 
he, although he, so he denied, this is, this is all public information already. And Jeremy has talked about it. And we talked about it on that umbrella guys channel yesterday. Uh, so the, the motion, the third motion to disqualify, by the way, so just to catch you guys up, there's been a first motion to disqualify judge denied it. There was a second motion to disqualify like judge, please step down. He denied it. There was a third motion to disqualify and he just denied it yesterday morning. Okay. So that yesterday morning was finally denied. Uh, and there will be no fourth. Now there's going to be a writ. It's called a writ of mandamus or a writ of prohibition. Uh, I think it's a writ of prohibition in this case. And so that is being written as we speak by their lawyers and probably filed. As long as it's filed by 6 a.m. tomorrow, there is no hearing tomorrow. That's why I'm not. I was going to go to Florida. I was rushing to try and get like tickets and everything. But that is no longer necessary because. We are simply uh, waiting because now the writ, once the writ is filed, the judge freezes proceedings. Literally, it's ice. They're, they're, they're excuse me, they're en engulfed in ice completely. And what's going to happen after that is either the, the Supremes are going to remove him or like the, 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 the Court of Appeals, I suppose, before it gets to the Supreme Court uh, from the case or from the bench, but at least from this case. And a new judge will be appointed. A special judge will be appointed on Jeremy's case. Or they will say, no, this is not enough, which would be fascinating if that happens because that's going to be insanity. And the world is already exploding. Now it's going to explode even further. Um, th then he remains on the bench and he's going to listen to the merits and rule on it because as I understand it, it's family court. And if Florida is anything like um, Kentucky, uh, family court, you don't get a jury. The judge listens to the evidence. The judge is the judge, the jury, and the executioner of the sentence. Yeah, I mean, it's a case by case here, but yeah, it, yeah. Florida is definitely more fair, though, than say California. Like in family courts, the fathers do get more rights here uh, than than elsewhere. But I imagine unless you have a rogue judge, like the, the, the well, exactly, Thomas's, but man, it, like exactly that's that's <laughs> the difference. But you yeah. know, the, if you're asking for gener generalities, uh, yeah, I mean, DeSantos and others have put in rules like that to help. But in this case, you got a judge who's not. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's wild. So so there's still plenty to go. And, and by the way, I saw uh, Jeremy's in the chat. I, I can't, I tried to message hey, you. I can't follow you because I refuse to pay for X, long story. And they take away your your DMing abilities when you don't pay for it. Uh, but if you message me, I'm happy to link you or just help you in any way. Uh, no pressure, but I saw you in there. I didn't mean to not acknowledge you, but happy to help spotlight and help you along the way if you need it, just reach out. Uh, through X, I hate calling it X, uh, Twitter. Uh, anyway, but uh, so so great. That's the recap of where we stand. And I, look, I heard you going to Florida. I was considering myself, but is there still a version of this where we can all sit in that courtroom <laughs> and, and, and eyeball this judge? <laughs> I mean, the last opportunity was yesterday, unfortunately, uh, because there was a hearing yesterday at one thirty or thereabouts. Um, so then if if the writ is granted, there'll be a new judge and sure we can go, but it won't be uh, the Thomases anymore. If the writ is denied, it will be the Thomases and it will be in his courtroom. Right. And that I because that to me seems like the issue. This he needs a fair judge to actually look at all this and cut the bullshit. Exactly. Um, and if if he gets pulled off, then that is pretty much hopefully the victory, unless the next judge decides to follow his corrupt lead. Do you think that's a possibility in that I mean, it's a small town. He's up there. Could there be more cahoots between the rest of the judges or even the police department? What do you again? Complete speculation, obviously, and 100%. opinion. But what do you what do you think? That's a worry. I don't think it's a worry. Uh, although now that I said the words, anything is possible. I guess you know what I mean. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. So we got to keep paying attention. There's still some next steps, but it does. He must be seeing all this. Like, I can't imagine that judge is not. Oh, we know he is, but he is on his channel, on Jeremy's channel. We don't know if he still has been tipped. I mean, I know he's been tipped off, no, no question. But has he actually watched, like, my stream? Has he read Megan's article, Megan Fox writer? Has he, um, you know, looked at the videos on my channel? Has he looked at the videos on Tug's channel? Has he looked at the videos on Megan's channel? We don't know. Has, and has he seen you yet? You know, is he watching this live? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. He, I mean, I'm, I've been limited. I'm still new to it, but it does seem like he's paying very close attention to things. Um, and I saw he just said it. It's absolutely a worry. This is a good old boy system. That's what I would assume with that kind of population, the access to it. He seems to be top dog. 
I would think it's going to be hard for anybody else to try to, to fight it. What can he do then if that if they can't get that justice? And you're, from your lawyer perspective, like, can he appeal it higher? Does he have to just go through this nonsense? Like, how does he get it out of that courtroom? Or has anybody, if you face a sort of judge like that, what's typically protocol for someone to try to get better rights or are they just screwed? No, they're not just screwed, of course. That that would be the, the uh, overstatement of, of the year. You know, uh, when a judge is acting in such a capacity that they, they are completely outside the, the bounds of the law and you can't get a fair shake, what you do is you file a motion to disqualify. Here we call it a motion to recuse. Same thing, different name. Um, and so far, there were three filed. Each and every single one of them has been denied by the judge, with the latest being denied yesterday morning, just 24 hours ago. And now you file the, the writ. That's it. The next step is the writ. Once the writ is filed, it freezes the proceedings. There is no future court date. As soon as that writ is filed this afternoon, this evening, tonight, whatever, uh, before 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, what's going to happen is the, the judge is going to cancel the March 3rd court date. Nobody is going to appear in court. And um, that's it. Uh, until the Supreme Court or the Court of Appeals, wherever it goes in Florida, because every state is different with different rules, and I don't exactly know yet which rules apply here in Florida, uh, the, uh, the, the judges will either say, granted, special judge appointed, and there will be a new court date with the new judge, or they're going to say, nope, denied, writ denied, judge stays, Judge Thomas is on the case, please uh, bring it back, select a court date. Both cases, in both scenarios, you're going to have a court date. And in both scenarios, you're going to have a judge. The only question is, which judge? Yeah, interesting. So, or does he see this and maybe start getting more worried? Let me just back off so they leave me alone and I can not lose it. Because I feel like if he keeps going, he right, the odds will be more stacked against him. Well, and it's an ego boost for him at the end of yeah. the day. Think about it. All, all he really cares about is an ego boost. And he's getting it. And he's getting his... his uh, his, uh, his, you know, sociopathic narcissistic tendencies like fulfilled through all this publicity instead of having a thousand people or 5,000 people w w watching him in the courtroom. Now you have 50 million people watching him in the courtroom. Right. But you know what I mean? Like there's a, a sure that's easy for the ego. And I guess that's the most realistic option is he'll get lost in that fame and lose himself, of course. But there is also a version where he might go, oh, crap, actually, this is going to fuck up my whole situation because there is some stuff that's questionable here and I don't want to lose it. I, I guess the, the reality I mean, if he was, was that it doesn't if he seem was, like he's being that reasonable. No, if he, again, if he was a reasonable person, he would have already ruled in ways that are consistent with a reasonable judge. He's been right. so unreasonable. I, I don't see a realm of possibility where suddenly all of a sudden he'll develop reason. Like I'm, that's just my opinion. Right. In which case, by that logic, I agree with you. He's going to stay. He's going to try his damnedest to stay on, do what he can do to fight this and think he can win it. Um, in which case, then, yeah, this battle is only getting started. And I imagine he's not going to like all of us. I mean, is there there's no legal recourse he can do to actually stop you or I from reporting on this, right? Nope. Zero. It's I mean, wild. I'd like to watch him try. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it would be. Really good for our views, I guess, if he did really exactly come after or arrest you or do it. But yeah, it's it's bizarre as as I watch sort of even your clips. He's trying to like mention case law and stuff. Have you looked those up? Like, where is he even attempting to come from on this? Is it's really just an hubris? His his own hubris? Um, wait, I'm sorry. What is the question? I think I missed the question. Well, you asked like because when you at when you did your recap, sorry, is what I'm trying to say. When you did yeah. it, he when he gives his rationale, which is up here. He yes. is like dropping case law, like yes, blah, 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 blah. Like, have, have you I looked, looked those up? up? Like, no, what is I, I have not personally looked this up, but my sources have, and they tell me that he's butchering the case law. Because again, you cannot, I, I don't even need, I don't need to look this up. Andy, let's, let's just, let's play a little game. As soon as I get off your channel, okay, uh, you're going to say, you know, you're going to, you're going to file, I don't know, a, a, a the harassment complaint against the DUI guy for coming on your channel. Okay. And a judge is going to listen and he's going to say, okay, anytime the DUI guy now speaks, uh, Andy, you're going to be punished for his speech or vice versa. I'm, 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 I'm bastardizing this, but that's basically what the judge did. Anytime that a third party speaks uh, about the subject, you, Mr. Jeremy Hales are going to be punished for their conduct, their, for them exercising their First Amendment right, I'm going to punish you. That's the, that's the insanity of this whole thing. 
You cannot punish the, first of all, you can't punish the exercise of First Amendment with limited circumstances. I mean, there you can't incite riots. You can't use, uh, I mean, it's, there's actually limited circumstances where you can use hate speech, uh, but you can't incite riots. You can't um, use it to, um, like, um, you can't defame people. Obviously, that's another exception to the First Amendment. Um, there are several exceptions, but this he doesn't fall into any of them because Jeremy d hasn't been doing that. And if, if the judge actually listened to the merits for once, he's so drunk on listening to his own voice, yeah, he forgot that there's a case in front of him for six months. So how do you get a judge like disbarred? Is that something like if, if this case proceeds, he continues to be his own, like cause all these troubles. There is a protocol in place like that Jeremy can proceed to challenge it and get him disbarred is that even a possibility either the legislature impeaches him or governor DeSantis removes him executive and uh legislative and DeSantis approved right he he's in because he appointed someone was saying him. that he was approved yeah. of it so that that's probably unlikely no anything is possible I mean DeSantis would be like holy shit I made the biggest mistake of my life you know what Mulligan remove him put another one he can do that sure it's true is I guess it depends not? on the outcry right and again, again exactly like this is enough of an outcry where it is strange that you'd think how can you defend this behavior? Um, exactly. He's completely out of line on all this stuff uh, and completely against all these amendment rights, which DeSantis claims to be all about. Uh, it does seem like this guy is causing his own grave, digging it as well. Guys, that was an amazing show. And if you want to watch the full stream, George and Jeremy from What the Hells joined us and revealed a lot of interesting insight. So catch the full show as a member, either here on YouTube or on Patreon. When you join, you support us, the creators. Hope to get them back. I may clip that later, but if you want to watch it immediately, head on over there. The full show was amazing. Thanks to everybody who called in, supported, and filled us in. This case is awful, and we got to make sure that these two get justice. So thank you to Jeremy and George for popping in, and thank you to Larry the DUI guy. And make sure you guys, if you haven't already, subscribed to all our channels here. Make sure you hit that bell the button, and the like. They unsubscribe a lot of people, so sometimes it's important just to verify when we remind you. Hit a comment down below. Are you surprised by this? Are you new to this? Tell us down in the comments, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be live again uh, next week, next Tuesday and Thursday. Check out Nerd Report Live next. Our buddy will send you over there. Stay tuned for 